and welcome to my new video. In today's video, we are going to make Wanda's headpiece. As you all know, Wanda will star in the new movie, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which will be released in the cinemas in May. It's a movie that we've all been waiting for. So it is time to go dress like Wanda, wear her headpiece and greet our queen. Actually, Wanda is the reason that I started watching the MCU movies. So one day, while I was scrolling through YouTube, I came across a video named Wanda Maximoff Chaos, and I was truly mesmerized by Wanda. I felt her pain, I was so curious about her, so I started watching all the movies from the MCU from the beginning until WandaVision, although I knew how WandaVision was, a, was going to end. Yes, I did spoil. So, while I was at work, I was thinking about Wanda's headpiece and how I could make it. Oh my god, this is what you do at work? Aren't you supposed to be working? How old are you? 15? You're 26. You're gonna get us fired. This is what you do at work all day? You think about Wanda and Doctor Strange? Yeah, as I said, while I was at work, I was trying to find a way to make Wanda's headpiece so I came across some photos of the headpiece and I printed them. I, I printed them in different sizes because I didn't know which one would match my head better. At first I made this one. It's kind of big. I, I don't think but this should be my guide. So I have another template, this one, and I think it is the ideal one because it's not too big, it's not too small, it fits my head well and so this will be my guide. So I changed into something a little bit more comfortable and now I will start making the tiara. First of all you'll need a piece of red foam, then adjust your template on the foam and start drawing the tiara shape with a pencil. Be very careful with the details. After that, you can start cutting slowly and carefully the headpiece. Do small and slow cuttings. I use the box cutter, but on the smaller details, I suggest using scissors. Unfortunately, we ran into a technical issue, as two pieces were sticking out like little horns, and they looked more like Loki than Wanda. To fix this issue, I added another layer of foam and stuck my first piece on that. Now my headpiece is like the one from WandaVision, but I don't care. Feel free to add many layers of paint in order to achieve a vibrant, smooth and realistic dark red color. After the paint dried, it was time to add the elastic and then I faced the second technical issue. I wanted to recycle an old headband that I never wore and soon I realized that the elastic was too small, so I had to buy another one and fix it behind the cameras. And here is the finished product. I'm sorry for the camera shaking, I was filming in the car on my way to watch the movie. I went to a small cinema in a nearby city and they didn't have any posters with Wanda, although she's the main character. Sorry Doctor Strange fans, but this is the truth. My fiancé and I were so happy and excited to watch the movie and when we went home we decided to order burgers to make our night even better. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe!